The first page we're going to start developing is the listing page, tab page. And we're going to put several controls on it, all separated out by uh, two nested split containers. So we drag over the first split container, and then we drag over a second split container and put it in the uh, left panel. And now we need to go over to the uh, uh, properties page for the second split container and change the orientation to horizontal. It's a lot like the split containers we used in the CAX series of lessons. Uh, in fact, you might want to go back and review those, especially the parts about the tree view and the list view and the split container. Now the controls we want to drag over are, uh, are two radio buttons. But first we want to uh, put on a group box so the radio buttons will be nicely grouped together and give a title to the group box that explains what the radio buttons do. So we'll drag that into position and resize it. And now we'll go over and get the first radio button put that on the group box and I'll get the second radio button and put it immediately below it and now we need a checkbox drag that over and put it to the right of the radio buttons And of course we don't want to leave any of these in that condition. So first I select the group box and go over and give it a meaningful name. GRP select by. and put text on the uh, the box of select by because we're going to use the radio buttons to select two possible criteria for creating sublistings uh, namely the um, either by author or by type so I go to the radio button the first one and give it an author in the text and give it a meaningful name of rad for radio button an author and then the second radio button we give a meaningful name of rad and type and of course put type in the uh, text next to the radio button Now I get our checkbox and the checkbox is basically for if we only want to look at things we haven't read. So the text in the checkbox is unread. And we give that a meaningful name of uh, CBX for checkbox Hungarian notation and unread. adjust the radio buttons a little bit so they look a little better. And now we want to drag over a tree view to the left lower panel. Click on the uh, common uh, task pop-up and say dock and container so it fills the whole panel. I'm going to go over and give that a meaningful name of TRV for tree view and Hungarian notation. And list by. And 
Now we want to double click on the form in order to bring up the form load event. And we want to do this in order to initialize the, uh, the tree view. And this is a lot like what we did in CACs, if you want to go back to that lesson. I think it's CACs 6 or 7. Create a local variable called tree node. Give it a name of parent node. And say parent node equals and then reference our tree view control with trv list by and then nodes for the nodes collection and add the add method to add to the nodes collection and this will create the root node and on the root node we want the text list all books and now we're going to do something completely different than what we did in the CACs. Uh, once again we're going to reference the parent node and have a parent node uh, dot nodes dot add so that will add under the root node but we're just going to add a dummy node it's not going to be real data because in the next lesson we're going to use ADO.NET objects in order to populate the uh, the subtree, the branches under the root, uh, with different data based on how the radio buttons and the checkbox are set. So this is actually dynamically created at the time the user expands the tree. And we'll get into that technique in uh, the next lesson, uh, Alexa 06. So let's save and compile and run this program. And you notice initially we're in the input tab page and there's nothing there. But if we click on listing, we see the controls we put in. And the uh, tree view has the list all books. And if we click on it, right now all we'll get is the dummy node. So we need to add the code to uh, populate the uh, subtree based on ADO.NET objects. Basically the ADO.NET objects we discussed in Alexa 4. So uh, I hope you learned a lot from this lesson. And remember, whatever you do, to always focus and learn a lot.